Hi again. In uh, this video, we will go to details about ISP1. So in ISP1, we are using BGP600 and all the routers uh, connectivity internally will be with uh, OSPF1 area zero. Also, as we mentioned before, we have three VRFs. A represent the internet, B represent via DNA, and C represent borderless security. Let's go and check R5. What's inside R5? So if you check the VRF configuration over here, we can see VRF borderless security, which is the BS, and we are represented by RD6015. Uh, so five represent the uh, router ID number and uh, 600 because of the BGP. So 601 will be for BS. Then we have 600 for files DNA, which is for FD, and 602 will be for the um, internet. So that's the way that uh, I designed the lab. Then you can see over here what we are exporting and what we are importing from the other edge routers. Same thing, you can see it for the FD and for the internet. If we check uh, the BGP over here, we can see the configuration starting from uh, the router ID and all the connectivity between the uh, route reflector, which is this one, and route reflector, which is this one. Of course, uh, we have used uh, the OSPF, and uh, you can check you can check all the route <coughs> loopback IDs for all of them are connected via the <coughs> sorry via this router. If we click over here, the route reflector one, and we can see we can see over here how the route reflector is uh, configured, and you can see they are using all the loopbacks for the BGP peering with the IP BGP, and then you have the IP before for all of them for the, and then you have the VPN before which is the MPPG uh, connection, connectivity between all the routers that will hold all the IP addresses of the subnets that belong to that VRF. So uh, we can say uh, show PGP and then we can say, let's say like this and all, and you can do, for example, uh, summary and you can see over here <coughs> all the IP addresses that is connected with the uh, BGP over here internally and then you can see all the uh, prefixes that how many routes we are learning from these uh, routers so I'm talking about R1 over here and if we if we have a look into uh, router three, which is this one, we are learning four IP, um, subnets from them. With four, we are using a four as well, so and so forth. We can check the same thing over here and the edge router, where we can see what are the <coughs> routing that we are getting from this and you can see we are getting all the 10 6 or this is with all or OSPF that we are learning from there because this is the global routing table if we need to check what are the routes that we're getting for the VRF A for example so show IP route VRF uh, internet and you can see over here we are learning the default route coming from the internet R27 and then all the other routes that we are using for the internet 
uh, these are the public IP addresses from different sites that we are uh, using in, uh, in the lab. So this is a brief uh, explanation about how we are using the connectivity for the ISP1. Thank you.